So now I'm somebody else. Um, <laughs> so pay no attention. Yeah, pay no attention. So back in my tweets, real quickly. So what it is, um, Twitter. <coughs> Even if you know how to program stuff, will only give you the most th your 3,200 most recent tweets. And if you tweet obnoxiously like I do, you have a lot more than those. Um, at some point, you will run out. And then once those are gone, technically Twitter has them, but you have no way to get them. So maybe they'll keep them forever and you can get them. Or maybe something happens, or maybe something gets deleted and then you can't get at them. And then even if you did know how to do that, um, if, you, like, want, if you're looking, you're like, oh man, What's that link I sent out? I tweeted about it like a week ago, right? Like, where's that? Where, like, I know I sent it out. I want to go find that link. And you go to search.twitter.com, you search. This is like the last page at the end. See, it says newer only. It's page three. And see how long ago it goes? Five days. So, like, you can only go back five days to find anything on search.twitter. And you, like, most people don't realize that. They think, like, well, I tweeted it. It's out there forever. But you, you can't go find it. You can't find that tweet. And so, but this is, is it's a really obvious kind of service. It does what it says. It backs up your tweets. So uh, you connect it to Twitter, and it goes and it archives all those on a server somewhere where you can save them, and you can download them if you want, and you can search over them all the time, and you can find things. And so if you're trying to find that tweet that you sent out, you can easily go search for it. Um, and, uh, and you know that you've got your own copy of your tweets and what you sent out. And it's part of a bigger suite. Um, you know, we want to do back up my mail, and back up my blog, and back up my photos, and all these other things. And we started out. We started out with mail, and it turned out that, quite contrary to our expectations, uh, Twitter was the thing that everybody jumped onto, and it was really easy to get people using it. Um, and so, we is me and Jason Cohen. He's a smart bear. If you guys read his blog or on Twitter, he's really good. Um, this is a Capital Thought project, which is different than Capital Factory. Um, and Capital Thought is really kind of like Jason and my personal little incubator for building stuff that, that for our companies and stuff that we want to do. And so this is a side project we've been doing. There's really nobody working on it full time. Um, we got the initial version built and got it out and just like tweeted about it a couple times. And there's like 50 or 100 people that sign up every day. And it's just, it just like virally just goes. And we've got more than 20,000 people that have signed up. So there's obviously like this, this thing is just sitting there waiting for somebody to take it and go do something with it. And people will pay for it. They, um, people pay right now actually, um, they pay, but people pay, a couple people a month pay 10 bucks to not tweet about it when they do their backup. Um, and then there's, a, there's this whole suite of really obvious add-on services that we can do. So we've got some programs to work on it, um, and what we really need is someone to actually just run the business. Um, if anybody tried, we could get 10 times as many people signing up every day if you actually were about promoting it and talking about it and doing things like that. We get 1,000 people signing up dead, and, uh, and some portion of them paying, and we think this is something that could get profitable pretty quickly. So we're looking for someone to really kind of come run this business. <coughs>